Hello and welcome to Tuner Tips by Totterbert. In front of us are the Kai Wheats KM201. It's a compact, smart, auto-ranging multimeter with non-contact voltage and phase modes. You can find this retailing on Amazon for $19.99, but expect it to be on sale most of the time. I got mine for $11.99 around the Black Friday sales. Maybe it's still on sale for that price, who knows, but for $12, bucks, it was definitely a bargain for what it provides. So let's check it out. Kai Wheats Smart Multimeter. What I really like about it, it's got a slender design, easy to pocket. Uh, that's a big plus. The probes are attached permanently. Some people may not like that. I actually am a fan of that because they're always there. You don't have to worry about messing around, fussing with them. Uh, and typically, they last a long time if you take care of them. I actually have a multimeter that's 20 years old with attached wires, and it's still fine. So, yeah. Here's the back profile of it. Okay, cool. I took everything out of the box. To show you what you get, look at that. Professional precision, safe, durable. All right, so we'll put that aside. Let's see what we get in the box. So we get to start a show, the KM201. Yeah, right away you can see that it's small and compact. Loving that part. So yeah, we're gonna demo this in the video. You get to see it doing everything it's possible of, except for phase, I probably won't be doing anything with that, but very cool multimeter nonetheless. Also, they give us a carrying bag for it. Hey, for 12 bucks, amazing. And batteries included. It runs on two AAAs. Excellent. And then we get the user manual. All right. There you are. We'll flip through it real quick. For posterity, uh, there's not many pages here. It's pretty simple, basic setup. So safety instructions, boom, read that. Over here, what's displayed, boom, read that. <laughs> you get the idea, all right? Okay, it's pretty simple. Bring it up a little bit so you can see that. All right. Yeah, it's a nice little manual. I'm glad they include this too. Kind of goes over to basics. A uh, pretty simple device. Yeah, it has a lot of functions for the money. You know, auto ranging is nice. You don't have to mess around with switching anything. I do like that when you're doing quick work. Got live measurements. There's your phase measurement. So if you want to pause and read all that, uh, like I said, I'm not going to explore that part of this device, but uh, it's there if you need that part of it. Phase. Okay. And over here, we have general specifications. Um, as you can see, just quite a bit. And over here, we'll have our stated values that it can record and show you. So accuracy specifications. It's kind of a little bit, uh, not too bad. Like it says half percent plus three uh, for DC voltage, AC voltage, 1% plus three. So yeah, I noticed a little increase in the DC voltage when measuring, say, lithium batteries, but not too much, just ever so slightly. So there's that. And then we got resistance. Continuity is very simple. If it's under 50 ohms, it will sound a buzzer. There's our maintenance, and we're done with that. Okay, I think we're done with that. Yeah, screw to get the batteries out. Yeah, that's not too bad. No big deal. Just a little mini Phillips. I think that's it. It goes into another language, I think, here. Yep, okay, good. There's our manual done. All right, get this stuff out of here. Let's go ahead and go over to the device and we'll do some demoing with it. I like to demo my multimeters. <laughs> so let's bring this on down and let's go over dimensions real quick. Uh, we have five inches in length. We have a width of a one and 11 sixteenths of an inch. Then we have a thickness from the back of one and one quarters of an inch. So for a size comparison, uh, since I'm a tuner channel, I got a radio, <laughs> CC pocket. Yeah, see, it's a pretty slender little thing. Uh, and then I have, of course, my ever popular deck of cards, Iron Man. He's the man with the master plan. He loves kiwits, multimeters in each hand. He's the master man who's got power for every situation, man. <laughs> cool. You, as you can see, this tester is pretty neat for the money. I like it. It's got storage for the probes in the back and everything. So, yeah, digging that. So, size comparison complete. All right, so you get the idea for size. Um, so let's dig into the features of the Kiwi's KM201. Uh, so it's got durable hard plastics, uh, so it seems pretty well made. Uh, it doesn't feel cheesy at all in the hands. When I bend it, there's no creaking, so it's not cheap, thin plastic. Uh, feels very durable, like it could take a drop and be okay. I, w I read one review where he says, if you drop, it'll probably break. I don't think so. <laughs> it's pretty durable feeling, like I said. I mean, I'm trying to twist it. Bend it. It's not making any noise. So yeah, you know it's built pretty good if it's not making any kind of creaking noise. So that's a bonus. Um, so liking that. 
So let's go to the front here. We have our LCD. So you have this red power button. You press and hold, turn it on, press and hold, turn it off. So we'll turn it on. Goes through the modes. So we have an auto power uh, function. So if after 15 minutes, it turns off. And then we have volts showing it's an auto mode. And then of course, now we have buttons here. So if you press and hold the F button, we can turn the backlight on. That's handy. Okay, I'll turn that off for right now. Okay, and then I usually keep an extra deck of cards here for a um, get my color balance back. All right, that's what happens when you turn these backlights on. Um, yeah, very cool. So it says auto. Then you hit F, this is your function key, and it changes it. So we can change non-contact voltage. It stays green, I believe. And you can use this for testing, and I'll demo that. Live mode where you can take the probe and actually probe the outlet. And then we have the phase mode. Again, uh, I'm not going to show this feature, but uh, cool if you need it. And then back to auto mode. So very simple. Over here we have a hold mode. So if you find a rating you want to keep it, just hit H to hold it. See H pops up on the display there. Let me show you, show you there. There you go. And then it also has a uh, flashlight. So press and hold. So if you're in the dark, you can light up a little area. Um, yeah, not too bad. Bring it back a little bit. Up close, it's pretty narrow. There's a little LED there. Um, don't expect much. It's two AAA batteries, so... Yeah, don't run that too long. Turn that off by press and hold. So yeah, you can see the modes, how they change, you know, uh, as I was in function with the non-contact voltage, live phase, and it just does a little thing like that. 2,000 counts, so that's nice. Uh, you saw that in the manual. Um, it goes up to 600 volts. Uh, so that's a handy thing to have. Um, 600 volts on the AC or DC, um, that's pretty handy to have. Uh, resistance, uh, 20 milliohms. Um, that's great, and I, I already showed you the uh, continuity under 50 ohms. So over here we have our leads. Uh, these extend out to a whopping uh, 27 inches. Yeah, let me just undo this real quick here so we can demo this bad boy. That's what we want to get into. And I'm going to compare it to another uh, competitor out there on the market. There's a lot of them. I mean... You go on there like, which one should I get out of it? Well, it depends on what you really need. Um, if you need something just to voltage testing, uh, continuity, and resistance, this is perfect. I mean, as, and if you need some of the AC options, but mainly just to do some voltage testing um, and continuity and resistance, this is mainly for most basic uh, use. I actually used a multimeter like this for many, many years uh, and enjoyed it, mainly for continuity, to test my circuits to make sure my solder joints were correct. So that, that's the most important thing uh, that I like to use for multimeters is continuity tests. But uh, yeah, so we got that uh, done. We got our leads extended here. Now on the back here, you can see they fit in really nice and they have covers for the probes. Uh, so don't lose those. But we're going to take them off for this video because you can see they can just pop right off with one hand. Pretty simple. Okay. And then here we have the back where you use one screw and you get to the two AAA batteries. I didn't see a spot for a fuse, but there's a screw there, so there might be a fuse replaced, though I did not see any indication of a fuse replacement. So just I think it, it'll automatically just stop testing. Um, so there's our probes right there. All right, so I think I went over the basics uh, of this, so I wanted to compare it to the Tesman. Here we are, the 510. So this is much bigger. Uh, same price range, okay? Okay. Um, this one's typically $14 retail, uh, right currently on Black Friday, it's around 11 bucks, same price as this, it has the same thing, turn it on, goes to auto mode where it has this thing dancing back and forth, and it has the also the auto off at 15 minutes. Now, I do want to mention that on the Kiwitz as well, I think it's the same as this, you can um, turn off that 15-minute uh, timer by pressing the F button and then pressing power button, you get a confirmation beep. And that little timer is missing, so now this will stay on until the batteries dump. So something to keep in mind. We don't want that to happen, so we'll turn it off, turn it back on, and then our 15-minute timer will be back, as you can see there. So, yeah, here's the big difference. Um, this has non-contact voltage as well. Um, this does everything that this one does. It's just a bigger uh, form factor. It actually uses uh, two AAAs as well. Uh, this one here has removable. Uh, cables and the cables are thicker, so I will mention that. Um, does it make it better? Uh, I'm not sure, it's totally up to you on that. It is a 4000 count uh, voltmeter, so it goes up a little higher. So, on the uh, on some of the tests, but not a big deal when it 
test the same voltage, 600 volts. So there you go. All right, cool. So I just want to show you the differences there. All right, neat. So let's go do some testing, and then we'll do some final thoughts on the Kiwitz KM201. <laughs> I'm having fun there. So right away, let's uh, do continuity, since I mentioned that so many times, right? I got my little Christmas tree I built. Merry Christmas, right? So let's go ahead and test it. So it's on auto. So we're just going to bring it on over. And I'm going to try to find a trace here with the camera going. This is going to be fun. Okay, I'm doing this on the camera, so bear with me. I think it's a trace. There we go. So that's continuity. Nice and loud, which is good. You want that. No wimpy buzzer, so there's our continuity. Yeah! So, good little test there. You know that circuit's good. All right. Uh, what else? Yeah, I got some of these resistors. Um, <laughs> these are always sort of... I try to test them inside the package. Um, I'm actually starting to rough it up a little bit. Um, these are old school. Uh, half watt resistors from Radio Shack, as you can see. 10% tolerance, and they are actually that, unfortunately. 19 cents for a pack of two. Um, let's see if we'll do resistance on these. Um, this gets a little tricky, so bear with me on this as well. So we're going to place the try to place the probes on each end of the resistor and see if I can't get a reading. Okay, 4.26 sounds about right. Yeah, it says 3.9 on the package, but remember that 10% uh, thing does kick in, and this is kind of the similar readings I was getting with my bigger uh, meters. So there you go. There's your that's how you test your resistors. Really simple, awesome. And a piece of history there. I love that. Uh, and of course, your basic batteries. So let's bring in the batteries here. We got a Molly cell um, lithium battery. So we'll grab that and test it. So I'll just hold that there. I'm positive. Here's our negative. And it auto detects the voltage at 3.7 volts. And I think that's about right. Um, we could also bring in the Tesman just to show you the difference. 3.7 is what that one said. And we'll bring in the Tesman. And just to show you what this one reads, um, again, competing products. Uh, yeah, these leads are, do feel a bit more substantial on the Tesman. Okay, let's go ahead. Tesman, the Tesman does come with a carrying bag as well. So that one there is 3.691. Okay, there you are. So that gives you an idea how that reads. Cool. So let's go ahead and test a little alkaline battery. Though I don't know if you'll be doing this too often. Mainly for lithium, I like to test um versus my uh alkalines because i like using a quick tester for the alkalines to be honest with you that's all you need excuse my hands let me just see if i can just hold this in place get testing this cell there you go 1.55 all right so that gives it basic uh there and of course we could do an outlet let's bring in the ac cord so we'll go ahead and put our probes in Okay, I think it's live end. Put that in. This will be auto detecting AC voltage. Ah, it turns red to show you're in the AC mode. That's good. Uh, so it's showing 121.9. There you are. Okay, that's about right. Okay, let's take those out. And now we're going to show you the non contact voltage, which is awesome. So we're going to switch that over to NCV. So hit the function key. Okay, so that's the little probe right here. I really showed you that end because I didn't want to blind the camera with the LED there. But there's the little probe. And you kind of put that to the wire. So let's show you the wire here. Here's the wire. Okay, probably because I'm holding it. Let me just... Okay, it detects it pretty far away. Bringing it in. And then, yeah, you can see it's very... Wow. Very sensitive. <laughs> Yep, just off camera there. It's picking it up. Nice. All right. So let's go ahead and go to live mode. Now we're in live mode. Now I won't do that unless I plug in the probe. So let's go ahead and do that. Now the probe has to be direct contact, I believe. So live, we got to put it right on the wire. So see if our wire's live. I don't know if I got in there. I think I did. There you go. You get the idea, right? Okay, cool. So hey, there you know. You know you're live. Um, very good to have uh, if you're testing AC current. Um, you need to know live wires in the wall or, or a run that you're trying to check to see if it's hot or not. 
So there it is. All right, so let's go ahead and I think we're going to go ahead and power it down. Covered most everything. Let's do final thoughts on the Kaiweet KM201. You saw it in action there. Pretty cool. Uh, I like to demo it, give you an idea what it can and can't do. Um, so the price is right at 11 bucks. Um, if it stays there, great. Give it a go. Um, I think it's totally worth it. Um, I do like the Tesman too. If you want a bigger one with a bigger display, um, this might be the way to go. But then you have to deal with these... Uh, you know, removable dudes. Um, if you don't lose them, you may not be able to find a matching pair. Oh, you should. I think these are pretty standard. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I do like the fact that these are attached, believe it or not. Um, that is nice. The wires are a little, you know, a little thin uh, to my liking. But, again, it's a thin product. I mean, this thing is like meant to be carried everywhere. And I love how this can fit in a pocket with no problem. Um, yeah, and it comes with the bag so you don't stab yourself, hopefully, with the little probes. Because they fit nicely on the back here like the bigger boys do i like that a lot that's really nice um so that has a lot going for it so it definitely gets a big upvote for me compared to the tesman it just depends on preference uh what you like but uh, i did have to show competition because there's tons of it out there so there you go uh decisions is up to you what you like um yeah so kai Wheats, i do like the brand i have quite a few i reviewed a couple of them already on my channel the rechargeable ones this is just a smaller fun one i thought i'd pick up uh, so yeah, there you are. And um, also, uh, if you like Kai Wheats, uh, if you want to subscribe to the bell icon, get notified of future reviews. And then, of course, three, comment below what you think about the KM201. Is this something you'd want in your toolbox, on your bench, in your car, uh, wherever your, uh, your testing needs may take you? Let me know. All right. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in my next video.